Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today we are gonna do some spaghetti squash. I'm gonna show you guys um, how I cook my spaghetti squash. It's a lot of fun just to film and throw them together and to hopefully help some of you guys out if you're trying to eat healthy or eat on the Weight Watchers Freestyle program. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got my um, squash cut and I cleaned out the guts with a spoon. Um, nasty way to say it, but there it is. I like to go around and make like a pattern of where I wanna cut and then go back in with more pressure. Now, it might look weird because a lot of times when I see spaghetti squash, people have cut it down um, the middle long ways, like hot dog style, as an elementary school teacher might say. Um, I cut mine horizontally and I saw it somewhere on Pinterest to do that and ever since then it just makes more sense to me because the noodles grow this way, like they're shaped that way. So if you cut the spaghetti squash down the middle long ways, you're cutting off that noodle. Hopefully you can see it there. Um, but I just cleaned it off and I'm going to preheat my oven. Normally I would do 400, but mine gets kind of hot. Um, I'm gonna do 400. I'm gonna preheat it to 400, and then I'm gonna take um, olive oil. I'm gonna spray the bottom of the pan with olive oil, then I'm gonna spray a little bit of these with olive oil, and then I will add salt, pepper, and garlic powder. cook um, the edges which I'm not sure if everyone else um, cooks their edges or not <laughs> but I cook my edges you can still see there's a little bit of spaghetti squash um, like noodles in there that you can get and what I'm gonna do is I will flip these two over and I'll let them cook face down and I'll flip these over and just season the other side and then they will be in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes Usually when I can start smelling the seasoning in my house, I know that they're ready to go and they'll be a little bit browned on the edges, which I personally love. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that and pop them in the oven and then I'll check back in. Right, so I definitely kind of forgot about my spaghetti squash, but it feels okay. Um, so I actually let it, ended up letting it cook for about an hour by accident. Um, normally I would have taken it out around 40 minutes, but it doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm thinking it'll be okay, so I'm gonna let it cool down and then we will dig into it. For my dinner tonight, I'm gonna be eating um, this much spaghetti squash. I don't know how much people normally eat, but that's how much I'm eating. Um, my husband does not love spaghetti squash, but I will go ahead and take this out and then I will just store it for the next two days. Um, as you can see, it kind of separates here. Ignore the olive oil on my finger. This, it's a little more mushy than usual because I cooked it a little bit longer, um, but it still tastes really good. And I will normally have it just like spaghetti. So I will have some Prego with it. A fourth a cup of this is only one point and that's usually all I need. Um, sometimes I'll add some Parmesan and I make my own garlic bread. So I use two slices of this and then once it's toasted, I just spray this and cover it with a little bit of garlic powder. I swear, that scared me, I swear it tastes just like Olive Garden. It's so good and I also will have this with the Cooked Perfect meatballs a lot of the times. Um, but you can turn it into like spaghetti squash pizzas. Um, you guys saw my video where I tried to make hash browns out of it. Didn't really work for me, but it could work for you. 
Um, I have done chicken alfredo and things so like there that. you have it that is how I make my spaghetti squash and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up there's so many things you can do with spaghetti squash so I love 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 that it is zero points but I just wanted to show you guys that today so I hope you like it don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time